Once upon a time, you were a set of words containing what God was describing he wanted to do. So that was what created your spirit man. And so when that spirit is created, God can say things and begin to see what he has said. And though they have known that you, you are supposed to be the sword of the spirit in your generation. Every time darkness rises, if they want to challenge that darkness, they will send you as a weapon of war. He says, thou art my battle axe, my weapon of war. Through you, he says, I will subdue kingdoms. But when the day of war came and they say, where is the weapon? Then you will now find that there is a disparity between the one who was sent and the one who came. And so the issue in our generation now is for men to take some time because there are only two tributaries, two available that you can use. They sneaked it into time so that no man will have excuse. One of them is prayer. When you pray, that's what Apostle Paul said, we groan to be clothed with that body we have eternal with God in the heavens. Jesus prayed and he was clothed with a body. Suddenly, because of the clothing that came upon him, Elijah and Moses can now talk with him because there is a body that Elijah and Moses operate with. Only men who carry that body can converse with them. Suddenly, and remind you, the fact is that the transfiguration experience was a product of prayer. It was a mountain experience that that, that brought to the awareness of the disciples Elijah and Moses number two is study of the world he says for we all with unveiled faces beholding as in a glass why is it unveiled faces because the person they keep before you this is why they allow the world to become flesh so that he will become a standard for all men to look upon so that they can be reconfigured into their true identity because Jesus is now the pattern song and so they keep a pattern for all men to see. Jesus is like a mirror. But this mirror does not show you yourself. The mirror shows you two images. It shows you somebody standing, then you look near the person. So you will not be looking at anything in you that did not correspond to what you are looking at. That is what the world has become. Unfortunately, we now study the word of God because we have a message to share. This is why the word of God never becomes flesh. The labor to become a man staying with the word and meditating on it. He says, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you. There's glory on my inside. I carry glory. There is a measure of God given to me from eternity. No man gave it to me. No man can give that to you. Ha! Ah, Jesus says a man can receive nothing except it be given to him from a pole. I don't care how many oil they wasted upon your head. If it was not given to you, you can't take it. Even God, you cannot come to God except he draws you near. All these things jumping from pillar to post. If it's not your own, you can't take it. There is glory boiling in my inside. The prize is one. Can you pray long enough? Can you study long enough? Have you wondered how much distraction, how much attention darkness gives you when you open the Bible? As you just open it like this, suddenly your phone, hey, your mind, all kinds of demonic impulses. Did you close that window? You know this window? See window that is near you like this. They just want you to get up from what you are looking at. And if you are sitting down to watch a movie, nothing will distract you. Uh, this, that's true. Are you sure if you don't warm it now, the thing will not spoil? Just go and warm it so that as you now put it on fire, you can come back and start it. They just want you to stand up. They know that truth is progressive and you are, you, are, you are about to stumble upon something that it will take meditation to see it. And so if you stand up, they disconnect the flow. When you come back, you don't have what it takes to see that thing again. Pray! No. They know that you still think prayer is a means to get from God, a means to collect. And so they know you don't know that prayer is a tool of growth. You spend time to become. There is glory. Our description is glory.